from the Capitol in Madison. This is Wiz Politics Midday. Hello, everybody. I'm Adam Kelnhofer with WISPolitics.com here with a midday podcast brought to you by Spectrum. Today, I'm joined by my colleague Kate Morton in the Madison office to talk about some Senate updates. There are some updates in the 8th Senate District after Senator Alberta Darling of River Hills. She's a Republican. She retired. But there are some other developments in that district, right, Kate? Yes, Adam. So this week, Representative Janelle Branchon joined the race. She's from Menominee Falls. And this is kind of interesting because she was recently barred from closed caucus in the assembly after she endorsed the opponent of Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, Adam Steen. He was a proponent of decertifying the 2020 election results um, Representative Branchen, who chairs the Campaigns and Elections Committee, has also supported that. And it's likely that she would lose her committee chairmanship going into this new session after endorsing Steen. Yeah, Steen actually received an endorsement from former President Donald Trump, who also tried to decertify election results, right? Yes, that's right. And Branchen was also endorsed by Trump in her re-election race for her district. So who knows, maybe that endorsement could come into play in this race. We'll have yet to see that. Yeah, no, that'll be very interesting to see how the Trump uh, ties play out in the 8th Senate District, but there are other candidates than Branchin, right? There are also three other Republicans who have announced their candidacy, and that includes Representative Dan Canodal, who is in the running, Thienesville Village President Van Mobley, and 21-year-old Concordia University student Robert Albrightson, who resides in Brown Deer. However, we don't have any Democrats who have registered to run. Representative Deb Andraka has said she won't run for that race and will stay in her assembly district. Yeah, Kate, it'll be really interesting to see how this race kind of plays out, especially, as you said, there's not a Democrat in the race. Uh, Deb Andraka is from Whitefish Bay, uh, which is within the 8th Senate District. I'm actually from Shorewood, which borders Whitefish Bay to the south and is no longer in the 8th Senate District after redistricting. Uh, Not the most most recent redistricting, but in the past when I was in high school still, it got redistricted and drawn out of the 8th Senate District. But That whole North Shore suburb area of Milwaukee has been kind of trending bluer in the more recent years, I would say within the last 10 or so years. Um, A lot of the residents there have become more Democratic than Republican. And Tim Michaels in the last election in the 8th Senate District only pulled 51 percent of the vote, which is not a huge margin for Republicans in an area that historically has been a very conservative portion of Milwaukee. Well, Adam, if our listeners want to stay up to date on everything that's going on in the 8th Senate District race, they can head to our website at wispolitics.com and stay tuned. That's right, Kate. They can also check out some more coverage of the caucus issues with Branchen if they want to read more about that. But for now, I'm Adam Kelnhofer. I'm Kate Morton. Thanks for tuning in to another Midday Podcast brought to you by Spectrum. This has been WIS Politics Midday. For more state government and political news, visit wispolitics.com.